breaking news Nigerians. Court makes powerful decision over obese petition after INEC fails to do this before uh, the judge. Hello everyone, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The Presidential Election Petition Court has adjoined the hearing in the petition filed by the Labour Party's presidential candidate, Mr. Peter V. According to a report by Politics Nigeria, the court announced that the hearing would resume on Tuesday, 4th, which is today, July 2023. The reason behind the adjournment was the Independent National Electoral Commission's INEX inability to present its defense. This was due to the absence of three crucial witnesses who were expected to testify on the behalf of the electoral body. This recent development comes as a surprise since INEC was given a week's time to prepare his defense following the conclusion of the case presented by the People's Democratic Party PDP and its candidate Atiku Abubakar on June 23, 2023. During their case, the PDP and Atiku Abubakar presented a total of 27 witnesses to report their claims. In a similar fashion, the Labour Party and Peter will be concluded their case on the same day, bringing forward 13 witnesses and submitting crucial documents as evidence. The court duly admitted this evidence as exhibits. At the center of the dispute lies the allegation that INEC failed to conduct the election in accordance with the provisions of the Electoral Act 2022. The petitioners ascertained the INEC had made a promise to transmit the presidential election results electronically through the B Bimoda voter accreditation system and INEC result viewing portal, but failed to fulfill this commitment. Furthermore, the Labour Party and Peter Obi have levied accusations of electoral malpractices during the elections, thereby casting doubt on the let legitimacy of the election outcome. The adjournment of the hearing has caused a further delay in the resolution of this contentious matter. With the absence of crucial witnesses, INEX defense remains pending. The court's de decision to adjoin the hearing suggests that the issue at hand is of significant importance, requiring a thorough examination and presentation of relevant evidence. At the hearing is set to resume on Tuesday, 4th today, July 2023. All parties involved will have an opportunity to present their argument and evidence once again. The outcome of this petition will have far-reaching implications for the political landscape of the country and the credibility of the electoral process. Nigerians, the Presidential Election Petition Court's role in resolving this dispute is crucial as well as it is taxed with ensuring justice and fairness. In the electoral process, the adjoinment serves as a reminder of the complex cities, uh, complex involved in addressing electoral disputes and the need for a thorough and unbiased examination of the evidence presented by all parties. As Nigerians await the resumption of the hearing, it remains to be seen how the court will assess the allegations and evidence put forth by the petitioners and the defense presented by uh, the, the INEC. The final decisions will undoubtedly have a significant impact on the future of Nigerians' democracy. As Nigerians, we say, all we ask for is just, just verdict. We will be fine with that. Just give us justice. Nigerians have been asking the judiciary, do justice to this case. 
with this case, we will understand if Nigeria will still practice democracy or not. Now, the ball is in the court of the Nigerian judiciary. What is going to be the outcome of this election and uh, the results of the case? Okay, the final uh, result of this case, what is going to be the, the, the report and all that? Because whatever comes out, we affect the country. That is the truth. Whatever comes out, we hate the country. But what Nigerians are saying, just for once, we want to trust the judiciary system again. Because with what happened during that presidential election, you understand that all was not where. It was all manipulated. And with the EU report, the federal government of Nigeria, calling it poor decks reported whatever and all that. That shows that the arrogancy of this government and these people, they can do more. If you are not remorsed with what you did, you are still very, you know, um, how do I put it? You are still, um, you still want to do more. Uh, let me just put it like this. You know, so when person do bad thing, you get with it and they call conscience. But our leaders, they lack it. They have sold their souls to the devil. You see, they don't love us. They don't like us. That is why during the election, you see them playing politics of do or die. Because they are doing it for their own selfish gain. All they are just doing is myself and myself, not for the masses. You understand? If not, if you want to, if you want to serve the masses and the same people you want to serve, say, no, we don't need you. You say, no, I must rule you, whether you like it or not. We not go vote for you. If we not vote for me, I go carry by Lord Boss. I go change the marks. And you will, you will uh, accept me by fire, by force. Anyhow, I go must be your leader. Does it supposed to be like that? Something is wrong. I'm dropping it to guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.